This is your mission. Eradicate the defensive units deployed in the Line Arc Zone. As you know, Line Arc is the main base of the anti-establishment forces that oppose the Cradles. We have tried to negotiate peacefully with these revolutionaries, but they have refused our overtures and continue their violent attacks. This mission is a show of force to encourage the enemy to rejoin negotiations. We never like to resort to violence, but on this occasion, we have no choice. Linox's main weapon, White Glint, is currently operating in another area. It will not become a risk in this operation. Note that this mission is a test run of your capabilities. We trust that you will deliver a successful result. Commence mission. Destroy all line arc defense units. I'll leave next! Damn it, not now! Confirmed. Half the targets have been destroyed. Are we doing any damage? Primal armor? First we have to break down that primal armor. Only a few 
targets remaining. Our standard weapons are useless! Where are our normals? We've confirmed all targets destroyed. Mission complete. Well done. Almost perfect. But don't get too high on yourself yet, rookie. These enemies were nothing to write home about. Okay, here's the mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. The objective is to destroy the defenses at Taurus Corporation's B7 deep mining facility. The main enemy force consists of normals and autonomous drones. Depending on how many of them there are, they should be no problem for a next. The automated defense systems will try to close the external barricades. You have permission from the client to destroy them. This shouldn't damage the facility itself. Breathing over. This is an excellent opportunity for you to strengthen ties with Omer Science Technology. Not a bad deal, right? Commence mission. Eliminate all enemy defense units. An unidentified craft has infiltrated the facility. It is believed to be an enemy next. All units assume battle ready formation.
All targets destroyed. Mission complete. Here is your mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. Your objective is to destroy the fleet currently docked in the port of former Chinese Shanghai. The fleet is a combination of GA America and BFF forces, and includes a number of special edition normals. However, we don't believe these weapons would give you much trouble. The client wants you to coordinate with support units, Battlefield strategy is up to you, of course, but there's no need to be a hero. That is all. This is a rare chance to improve your relationship with Omer Science Technology. Not a bad deal, don't you think? Commence mission. Eradicate the enemy fleet and enemy arms fort. Special edition normal detected. It's equipped with a frontal shield. Don't waste ordnance on that shield. Maneuver behind it and strike the rear hull. targets remaining. Arms Fort Gigabase identified. It may be a relic, but it's still an Arms Fort. Don't underestimate it. This is the mission. During trial operations, Cradle 2-1 was occupied by the Liliana insurgents. They are an extremist anti-establishment group, more radical even than Ninarch. They are committed to violence for its own sake, and little else. You have been given special clearance to enter Cradle airspace. We want you to seek out the enemy and destroy them. Remember to limit the damage to Cradle 2-1 as much as possible. We're offering significant bonuses if you can keep the damage to a minimum. This should be no problem for a top Lynx like yourself. We look forward to your reply.
Commence mission. Retake Cradle 2-1 and eliminate the Liliana insurgents. They're extremists, but they can only deploy normals. No match for a next. You should have little problem taking them out. It's a Lynx inbound. Crap! It must be the Lynx doing. A colored soldier. <laughs> Nothing more than a wild cat without fangs. This is your mission. Your target is the Arms Fort Gigabase, currently escorted by the BFF 8th Fleet. The convoy is sailing south through the Northwest Sea. The 8th Fleet is a powerful force made up of large cruisers and other smaller vessels. However, the fleet itself is not your target. Don't waste ordnance on it. Use a Vanguard Over Boost Unit to accelerate past the escorts directly to the Gigabase. Get in close and destroy the target as quickly as possible. In addition, the Union will pay you a bonus for the destruction of the supply vessels. You can ignore the other secondary targets if you wish. That's all. The Union speaks very highly of you. We hope you can take this on. Destroy the Arms Fort Gigabase. It's being escorted by the 8th Fleet. Use the VOB to close in on Gigabase. Watch out for long-range fire. This Arms Fort is a defensive stronghold. Don't underestimate its firepower.
Here's the outline of your mission. Your objective will be to support the Union transports as they move into the Red Valley. Red Valley is a former transit hub, crisscrossed with multiple transport routes. It is currently under the control of GA America. The plan is for you to rapidly neutralize the GA garrison and secure the shortest possible route through the valley. Once the coast is clear, you will proceed to escort the transportation units to the far side. The Union is offering a sliding scale bonus, depending on how many transports survive. That's everything you need to know. You're known within the Union as a highly capable Lynx. We hope that you can take this on. Commence mission. Try to whittle down the enemy forces as much as possible before the transports arrive. Selecting shortest route. ahead. They appear to be large, old-type units. More than enough to stop the transport's cold. You must remove all obstacles.
confirmed. Transport units have exited the combat zone. Mission complete. Well done. Damage to the transports was insignificant. This is your mission. Your target is the GA America Next Wonderful Body. It is a rank 24 two-legged model of medium size. Our transport units will serve as bait to draw the target to Old Peace City. As soon as you confirm its location, take it out. The Union has authorized the use of support nexts for this operation. We've recruited a selection for you to choose from. Use them as you see fit. That's the briefing. The Interior Union holds you in high regard. We hope you take on this mission. Commence mission. Eliminate the target next wonderful body. This is your first next battle? Well, it had to come sooner or later. First time for everything, right? Finally, they throw the next at me. The Interior Union dragged their feet too much. body has been destroyed. Mission complete. You handled it flawlessly. Better than I expected. Then again, he was hardly a real challenge. I'll tell you about your mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. The target is BFF Corporation's main arms fort, Spirit of Motherwell. The enemy AF is armed with large bore long range ordnance. It's an oversized, out of date machine, but the long range punch it can deliver still makes it a serious threat. To counter this, the client has proposed you use a Vanguard Overboost unit to approach your target. Its tremendous speed should allow you to close on the target's perimeter without getting hit. 
Once you've closed in, target the gun batteries. Destroying those guns should also cause damage to the machine's interior. It's pretty poorly designed, but that kind of sloppy work is expected of them. That's the briefing. This is a very important mission for Omer Science Technology. We hope you come through for us.
Mother Will has fallen. Mission complete. Now you can really call yourself an elite mercenary. The League has focused on maintaining complete and utter control. They agreed this goal could never be entrusted to any single person, who if eliminated, could jeopardize their reign. So in the aftermath of the Lynx War, the League manufactured enormous battle stations called Arms Forts. Manned by a crew of thousands of expendable soldiers, this was military might the League could control and therefore trust. Arms forts have become the perfect solution to the League's needs, and their firepower far and away surpasses the average next. Dream and hope as they might, the next pilots know that those who dare take on giants rarely live to tell the tale. Let's review your mission. The client is Algebra Corporation. Your objective is to eradicate the next occupying the Richland Agricultural Plant. We don't have too many details on the target. We know it's not affiliated with the Kalar, but it appears to be a two-legged heavy, a tough nut to crack. Of course, the client expects you to cooperate with other links for this operation. Overall battlefield strategy is up to you, but please, don't try to be a hero. You have allies. Use them. Briefing complete. This is an excellent opportunity to strengthen your relationship with the Algebra Corporation. It might open some doors, too. Commence mission. Destroy the unidentified next. Don't be intimidated. He may be a bit skilled, but he's just another Lynx like yourself. Whose peon is it this time? Perfect time. I was getting tired of arms forts. Zone. 
me. Confirmed. Unidentified next destroyed. Mission complete. It looks like you're improving out there. This is the mission. The client is Algebra. Your job will be to destroy GA America's main arms fort, Great Wall. Great Wall is one of the most powerful land weapons operating today. It's big and lumbering, but don't underestimate it. It comes with some serious firepower, armor, and load capacity. Your best bet will probably be to get inside and obliterate it from within. Destroy the large-scale hatch at the rear of the AF to gain entry. Once inside, target its power source and declaw the beast. That is all. This is an excellent chance to raise your profile with an algebra. It might be a good idea to take it. Mission. Destroy the GA Arms Fort, Great Wall. First, infiltrate the Arms Fort from the rear.
towers. Here is the mission. You are to destroy the large-scale Procyon energy cannons. They are deployed within the gear tunnel. The Procyon is a decommissioned weapon originally manufactured by Omer. Even so, it can still deliver a powerful punch. Don't approach them head-on. The gear tunnel is actually a web of large tunnels. You'll need to use the environment to find safe positions from which to attack and destroy the enemy targets. That's the mission. Taurus requested you personally for this mission. Don't let us down. Commence mission. Eliminate all Procyon energy cannons.
units have been destroyed. Your objective is to escort the flagship Titan as it escapes from the Namir naval port. Namir's eroded coastline makes it a natural stronghold. However, it has fallen within range of the GA America artillery. For this mission, we want you to escort the Titan safely out of the harbor. You must destroy all GA America vessels that attempt to intercept. You can expect the enemy to cloak themselves with ECM. Proceed with caution. The Union is offering bonuses for all Titan escort vessels that escape, provided the Titan herself is also protected. This concludes the briefing. This is a very important mission for the Union. If you succeed, you can expect a lot more attention. We look forward to a favorable reply. Commence mission. Escort the Titan to the edge of the combat zone. The Titan is getting underway. job, okay?
This is the mission. You are to target the two nests occupying the Kitasaki Junction. The targets in question are a rank 27 reverse-legged next called No Count, and a four-legged type, Identity Unknown. There are no specific instructions. Strategy in the combat zone is up to you. Just make sure that both nests are completely destroyed. The Union has authorized the use of support nests. We have prepared a list of candidates. They are highly skilled links. Use them wisely. This ends the briefing. This is a very important mission for the Interior Union. If you succeed, you can expect your stock to rise in the organization. We hope you'll accept. Commence mission. Eradicate the enemy nexts. Namely, No Count and another unidentified four-legged craft. We don't know what tactics they'll use. Exercise caution. Where's my support? This isn't what we discussed. Targets destroyed. Mission complete. Irregulars? What the hell are they doing here? You need some deep pockets if you want to deploy Nexus on the field. Here's your mission briefing. We want you to take out Nine Arc's strongest military asset, White Glint. White Glint is a rank 9 next, but it is considerably more powerful than its rank suggests. If it were otherwise, we wouldn't be asking for your assistance. White Glint is too much for a single next to take on. Therefore, we want you to work together with Stasis, a rank 1 next. White Glint is the backbone of the Lionark forces. Once out of the picture, their will will be broken, and they will be unable to resist any further. This would immediately lift the threat to the Cradles. We're readying as much firepower as possible for this operation. The rest will be up to you. Trespassing in line art territory. Pull back immediately, or we will respond with lethal force. Huh. So it's Fiona Jarnafelt. What right have you to speak? You who brought down Anatolia. It looks like you came to fight. 
Defense mission. Take out the enemy next, White Glint. This battle is for rank one. You can't go any higher. Show me what you can do. You can fight. I'll give you that. All those fancy aerial maneuvers won't save you.
Linearch's White Glint was defeated, and Kalard's top-ranked lynx, Atstarva, went down into the ocean. After the intense battle between the Cradle's greatest lynx, only one remained. Linearch had lost its greatest military asset. The Cradle's entered a period of stability, or so everyone believed. Behind the scenes, the League prepared for a new, more violent phase of the war. At that moment, despite the period of calm, the gears of a sinister plan had begun to turn. The team consists of Red Rum, a rank 15 four-legged machine, and Starka, a rank 19 light model. The four-legged Red Rum is piloted by a very wily female lynx. At this time of year, N51 is often cloaked in a thick layer of fog, assume limited visibility. Make sure you install sufficient enemy detection equipment before you embark. Obviously, the enemy will work as a team. We've been authorized to provide support units for your mission. Let me know what you need. That's it. This one is tough. Stay on high alert. We'll be waiting for your answer. Commence mission. Eliminate the pair of enemy nexts. This fog... What fine sheep you are! Coming straight to the wolf's den for slaughter. <laughs> You're not getting out of here alive. Oh, I'll get it. G.I. dog, I'm gonna make you bleed.
Omega has been taken out. GA America. Your target is an unidentified arms force spotted in the vicinity of Old Peace City. It appears to be an upgraded GA America model. Unfortunately, we have no further details to disclose. Even if we did, however, your objective would be the same. Find the target, and then destroy it. Before you rush off to battle, GA has authorized the use of support next for this operation. Come talk to me if you think you'll need them. And that's about it. This mission is dangerous, but you'll be reimbursed accordingly. We'll wait for your answer. Commence mission. Eradicate the unidentified arms fort. Information is spotty. Proceed with caution. Sold Dio's cannons. Taurus must be enjoying this. What? Segments are splitting off. Careful. Those Sold Dio's cannons are operating autonomously. Segments are bastards. Unleashing those monsters. Sold Dio's cannon destroyed. Three left.
that monster. Mission briefing begin. Your target is the BFF 8th Fleet, currently deployed in the Northwest Sea. The Union has committed the Arms Fort Stigro to this mission. You will rendezvous with the Stigro and destroy all targets. The 8th Fleet has been picked apart by repeated battles. If we strike now, you and the Stigro should be able to wipe out the remnants. That's the mission. The Union has been impressed with your performance thus far. We hope you can take this on. Commence mission. Destroy the BFF 8th Fleet. With this operation, you're paid in proportion to the number of mission targets you eliminate. Stigro's on your side, but it's also your competition. Show them that you're better than some simple piece of hardware. share of kills is increasing. Play second fiddle all you want, as long as you're aware that he's taking money out of your pocket. Here's your mission. You are to target the three Kojima energy plants located on the lowest level of the B7 deep mining facility. B7 was attacked and is now occupied by Omer forces. Their exact specifications are unknown, but you can expect some serious opposition on the way. The facility emits high density Kojima particles. These particles will degrade your primal armor and damage your machine. Once the plants are destroyed, we expect the situation to steadily worsen. You need to eradicate any Omer units that get in your way. 
Infiltrate down to the lowest level of the facility. Destroy all the targets, and then make your escape at maximum speed. Briefing over. This is a dangerous mission, but that's why Taurus asked for you. We hope you can take care of it. Commence mission. Destroy the three Kojima energy plants at the lowest level of the facility. Approaching the facility's lowest level. Kojima particles are extremely dense in this area. Your primal armor can't protect you here. Keep a close eye on your damage levels. Energy plant destroyed. Two more to go. Destroyed. One more to go. Targets destroyed. Evacuate immediately. Detonation imminent. Barrier doors closing. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Facility defenses are coming online. Doesn't matter. Just blast through them. Prioritize your escape.
One minute to detonation. This is the mission. The client is Rosenthal Corporation. Your assignment is to protect the large-scale Arteria facility, Carpals. We've received intelligence it will be attacked by several unknown nexts. Our current information is unconfirmed and possibly unreliable. However, as Carpals is one of the key facilities supporting the cradle system, it goes without saying, the client is taking no chances in its defense. Rosenthal has deployed its most powerful next, Noblesse Oblige, to guard Carpals. Work with Noblesse to take out the attacking nexts. Carpals is also protected by its own highly effective defense system. You shouldn't have any major problems. That's all. This is an excellent opportunity to strengthen ties with the Rosenthal Corporation. Who knows, it might benefit you too. All defensive emplacements destroyed? They didn't last 20 seconds out there. Noblesse oblige, targeting the blue irregular. Take out those nexts. Two of them. Well, we warned them already. Looks like they didn't take us seriously. successful, the energy reserves upon which the cradles relied were suddenly threatened. 
The Orca leader, a man known as Maximilian Thermidor, made an announcement to the world. The message was simple. League dogs, welcome to Earth. To the people who lived in the skies, it was nothing less than a declaration of war. The League was forced to abandon the tried and true strategies of the economic war. Suddenly, people realized that against these revolutionaries, their mighty castles were actually built out of sand. Here's the mission. Cradle 03 has become a target of the Orca Brigade. This cradle is home to millions of innocent civilians. Destroying it would be genocide, pure and simple. We will give you special clearance to enter Cradle airspace. Once there, you will protect 03. You will be further compensated if you can keep damage to 03 to a minimum. We hope you will join us in the fight for justice. Commence mission. Protect Cradle 03. Millions of lives are at stake. You cannot fail. Enemy detected. They're closing in. Enemy nexts and multiple combat drones. This cradle system is well designed. All of the targets are in a nice and neat row.
Sultan. You were their savior today. Here's the mission. Destroy the Orca forces occupying Big Box. Big Box is a fortified city that years ago served as GA America's main center of power. However, it was abandoned when the cradles were built. Orca saw their opportunity and illegally seized the facility. Orca is now operating the Big Box defense system and it has been restored to its peak operating capacity. This was once known as an impregnable fortress. Exercise extreme caution. We have also requested the help of the rank 3 next Rider Palash. Cooperate with her when carrying out the operation. You are the only ones who can complete this mission. It's up to you to stop this violent organization. Commence mission. Eliminate the Orca Brigade. This is Windy Fanchon and Ryder Palash here. Let's take down the enemy next. No point in messing around. This is Maltzel of the Orca Brigade. Welcome to Big Box. Let's get the war. The fighting concentrated on the world's largest Arteria facility, the Cranium, with both the League and Orca seeking to wrest control from each other. But in the final moments of the fierce battle, the League's attitude shifted dramatically. Seemingly overnight, they began to disengage from the conflict. It was a secret pact. The League agreed to turn a blind eye to Orca. In return, Orca would protect the corporation's leaders and keep their dark secrets. It turned out that the Orca leadership were as calculating as their corporate rivals. Their own security came first. They also knew well that the aftermath of the widespread destruction would spur the reins of economic growth. Now, nothing could stop Orca. 
Nothing except for Windy Fanchon and her allies. They broke off from Collard and began operating independently. just up ahead. I am in your debt. Thank you. I didn't realize you would be here too. I guess you aren't content to rot with the rest of them.
cause the downfall of humanity. Humanity? I don't see humanity anywhere on Starva. And mankind would be safe to dream, floating among the clouds. Is that your answer? So be it. Maltzel fell at Big Box, and Maximilian Thermidor at Cranium. In an instant, the backbone of Orca was broken. The League rewarded their Lynx saviors with glowing eulogies. They hunted down the remnants of Orca, and once again secured the dignity of their rule. We have at long last restored peace to our world they proclaimed. The cradles continued to float serenely above the planet. Within them, people soon forgot the terrible danger that had threatened their existence. <laughs>